Josh Hope Paranormal. I am here in my car just running an errand on a Saturday. I haven't posted a video in over two weeks. Um, it's really hard. I can't just post videos all the time. I would love to. The videos I post are just very meaningful. It, they take weeks sometimes to go through and review these sessions and I just love being able to share them with you. I just can't share them as frequently as I would like. But um, here I am doing a video about a session I did, a couple sessions I did the other night. I had a patron uh, feel James Gandolfini, Tony Soprano, um, something about him and that I should reach him. And I thought that was interesting because I did reach out to him in 2013 when he died and I had some success. It was pretty interesting. So I tried, but I, I didn't, when I did the session, I didn't use a long enough of an interview. I thought I was, I had enough sound of his voice to, to try and do this. And, uh, I did capture him a couple times, I believe. Um, but I captured some responses. I think even one from him about a bigger issue that I'm having an ongoing issue that's been going on for years, uh, with the past residents of my home that are no longer living. They were the first owners of the home. And it's crazy. Frank and Alma, there are a couple. I just received mail to her, addressed to her for the first time in 10 years, which is really crazy. And, you know, every time that this negative person, Frank, shows up, I uh, kick him out. I do what I have to do. And I don't hear from him for a couple months. And then you know, months later, I hear the spirits talking about him and that he's trying to hurt someone or that he killed this person in his past and that he's trying to screw me over and scare people from coming in, the spirits that I'm trying to communicate with. So, um, yeah, let's actually just go into the session and I'll uh, explain more as we go. James Gandolfini, Jimmy. Can you use this? Are you willing and wanting to use this? So this is your voice. This is your voice, you know, and it's garbled. There should be nothing we would understand from this interview that I took. So hopefully you are using your, your words, your voice. I wrote a script, I wrote a mob script, a very interesting film with Michael Rispoli. I put a lot of work into it. And at times I felt that you were helping me or doing some kind of work helping me could be wishful thinking, no big deal, but is that true? Were you helping me on that script? Okay, so I'm going to ask these questions again. If I don't get a clear answer, I'm going to give you one other opportunity. Um, in another box with another box. It's just, I think it's the best way to go. If I'm barking up the wrong tree and you know, which I have before as far as asking for someone that didn't want to talk, um, I respect it, but this is a great opportunity to speak. I haven't asked for you in pretty much, you know, like I said, seven years. Um, how are you doing on the other side, man? How are you doing now? for one second. All right. I'm going to try and get you on this recorder real quick. Um, all right. So to the guides, um, Michael, I don't know if you're back or um, to the other guides and spirit family that are helping. Is there anything you would like to say about James Gandolfini or about anything else?
this is sticking, so this is going to be a loud one. Give me one second. <sighs> it's always an adjustment. It's always an adjustment. All right, this is going to be loud. Let me see. All right, so the guy, uh, Michael, I don't know if you're back or uh, other guy, if you're helping, is there anything you would like to say? session I'm going to ask for James Gandolfini. I attempted to reach him last I attempted to reach him last night and uh, did not have very much success in doing so using the astral doorway and I'm using now the the portal. I'm going to connect with uh, my guides first and just see who's around me. So I invite Michael and the guides, spirit family. If Michael's not around, that's okay. I, you know, I've said it before. So I'm just gonna look and see if I can connect. here, but not right next to the box. So I invite you to help me if you can. I'm willing to, I'm trying to get some answers, just trying to understand, trying to understand a couple things before I try to visually connect with Mr. Gandolfini, Tony Soprano. those guys. I invite the spirit family to help to be a part of this. Steve just had a drawer opened in his house. This is very interesting, guys. It takes a lot of energy to, to move something. Feels like a response there. We've never had anything really moving other than our telekinesis that we've done with ourselves. Michael, I thank you. I thank the other guys that are around. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna try and connect now with him. Um, I'm gonna visually just intuitively connect with him. All right, I'm going to ask a question and then I'm going to hit the recording of your garbled interview. Just your word, just your voice. It's pretty much just your voice. No discernible words. So let's see what happens. I'm going to ask you now if you are here. I'm going to ask if you are here uh, and you want to speak. So James Gandolfini, are you here? Would you like to speak? 
Okay. You know, I'm going to ask this question. I, I wrote a script that was with your co-star Michael Rispoli. We're, we're very good friends, and he was in my first film, and we wrote a mob script together. It took almost five years, and it's a very involved. It won top five in a New York Film Festival script contest, and I'm uh, very proud of it. But I did feel at times that you were helping me or something to do with you helping me. Is that is that true? Was there was there really you helping? Okay. If there was an op if there was a chance that you did come through and ask, um, I was going to do my best to at least give you an opportunity to speak. Is there anything that you would like to say at all on your own? If there is more that you want to say or if there's something that I can understand, of course, when I go back and listen to it, then I'll ask for you again. Uh, I really respected you when you were alive and I appreciate what you did. I would have loved to have you in one of my films one day and um, you know, I don't know, but uh, hoping you're okay, my friend. Are you proud of your son? Reprising your role as Tony? Many saints of Newark? So, for James Gandolfini, I'm asking if there's anything you would like to effortlessly say on this recorder in any way. All right, thank you. I send you my love, my friend. God bless you, brother. You know, that sounded like possibly him. It sounded like he said no at first. So I don't know if he came through on this um, and then just said that at the end, but we try, you know, we try. And everyone that I try to reach knows, should know that I do it with respect. I do it with love and compassion in my heart. So, you know, I don't know, um, but we will review this. All right, let's try this really quickly. I have the Panda Box. Is there anything that we would like to finish off by saying? We're finished. Michael and the Spirit family, I'm wrapping it up. Is there any final message you want to give? All right, thank you. I love you guys. Dog bite.
So there it is. As you can see, it was a very um, interesting session because of the responses that came through. And uh, in the next week or so, my family's going out of town, which means I'll be home by myself for about 10 days. And uh, I plan on that time to spend devoted, dedicated to this issue and actually getting it taken care of once and for all. Um, you know, I, I'm learning to be a better person. I'm learning to be a more loving person constantly. This work is always shaping me into being a better person. And, you know, but there's a lot of lessons that I'm still learning. This is a journey, a spiritual journey. And so, um, you know, the next time that you see a video from me needs to be about what I'm dealing with regarding this situation. I'm going to try to use the, the firmness, the, the strength that I've been taught to have, that I've, you know, learned to grow. I've, I've grown into a stronger person with each year, but a softer one too, you know? And uh, I heard a great saying from uh, a Dave Chappelle special, and he said, you know, sometimes we have to be the lion so that we can be the lamb that we are. And, uh, you know, that's a great lesson. So... Anyway, please like the video, guys, if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel. Check me out on TikTok. I'm, I'm on TikTok, and I'm sharing crazy, amazing clips on TikTok uh, from the past and now and all kinds of stuff. So do that, and, uh, you know, pray for me, and uh, I pray for you guys and all of you. I love you all. I thank you, and uh, talk to you soon.